Hey there guys, uh, welcome to another video, welcome to 2017, thanks for watching. I'm going to show you the brand new Gear S app that has just been released on the App Store. Uh, if you go into the App Store you will see that it's available, there's two flavors. If you've got a Fit, you'll be downloading the Fit version. If you've got uh, the normal Gear S 2 or 3, you would be using the, the Gear S app. Uh, I actually am not too sure if the Gear S 1 would work, I'm assuming it would. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to show you the major differences from the beta to this new version. Um, so yeah, let's open it up. So let's go to the home screen. You'll see that there's a new battery feature, which is showing you the battery status uh, off the cuff, which is quite cool. Uh, they've carried over the S Health integration. So how this works is you, there is no S Health app on the actual uh, app store at the moment. So what you do is you need, would need to log in via the web to your S Health account and through that uh, it obviously syncs the information via the web which is a, a nice little workaround that they've done. It does work, I have tested that. Uh, going back to the notifications, the notifications all work, nothing has changed there from the beta. <clears throat> what you will of course notice though is um, there is, uh, you can of course manage and reorder all of your apps, again available in the beta, nothing new. What they have added is the gear music manager. Now the way this works is that uh, you connect your, your gear to the same Wi-Fi network as uh, your phone, uh, or as your computer, sorry, and then you connect to the phone uh, via the web browser. And through that you can obviously upload music to your gear and uh, have it on the go, which is quite cool. This is of course a brand new version uh, or brand new feature that they've included, um, <clears throat> which wasn't in the beta at all. Send image was in the beta, so you can send photos to your gear. S Health is still there, nothing new. Um, so yeah, one of the uh, things that still doesn't work to my surprise is, uh, let me show you quickly, so I'm gonna get my gear on. Uh, let's take it off. Okay, so let's quickly go in and that is this baby over here, your location. So if you click on that and you say you want to view the location, it says okay, review the settings on the phone, you say okay. It takes you over here, you say enable the current location and once you've done that, you go back and this just stays here. It doesn't actually do anything. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, it's when you do get it eventually working then it kind of like resets itself after some time so it is a bit of a bug a, they haven't managed to fix that at this point in time so again you can go back in add the location and yeah it just refuses to work uh, one of the other things that you'll notice is if I go to notifications uh, on the phone so here's a whatsapp if I go in there you can still not reply to WhatsApp. So that they haven't brought, and I actually wonder if they are going to be able to do that. Um, at this point in time, I don't think so. Hopefully it will become a feature very soon, but right now they cannot, you cannot do any replying um, on any messages that's on any kind of notification. You can only view the notification. Images you can also not view on um, on WhatsApp, so that of course still remains <clears throat> on the phone. You cannot view the images on the on the on the phone, uh, unfortunately. <clears throat> um, going back to the app, um, so all the suggested apps and the the app store manager and everything works actually extremely well. You can get all the watch faces. You can do everything. Uh, like you were um, as if you would have a, a, a normal gear uh, or a Samsung phone so everything works 100% you can get your gear apps um, you can get all the watch faces and all of these cool things so this all works 100% which is quite cool uh, because you can customize customize your your watch to to suit your needs and uh, I did see that there are some games as well that you can download and uh, and view um, I think there was one with stacking uh, blocks or something. I haven't tried it yet. I assume it's going to work because, again, this is running Tizen. It's not running iOS or anything. So this, of course, would completely work. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's basically it. So the new version, as you can see, the official version is out. As I mentioned, S Health is working, which is fantastic. All you need to go and do to get that working is you log in and, uh, and sign in and it will obviously start syncing your information. Um, as I said, the battery is new. Uh, you can also view your storage here. over here, which is quite cool. 
and uh, yeah so overall very pleasant experience I think it's a step in the right direction hopefully they do allow you to start replying to messages so I think that's the next big one that uh, we would really love to see um, as I mentioned the gear music manager is an awesome addition um, and I think that's great so yeah guys thanks for watching uh, please like and subscribe and share this video uh, hopefully I can get 10 likes on this video and yeah thanks again guys it's been my pleasure to serve you have a good one ciao